Hello there and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about work suitability. I might have a question about it, so I'd like to explain what I know about it. We're going to run through what everything is. So if you don't know, work suitability is what each pal is usable for on the base that you create. And there are quite a few of them. Alrighty, the first one we have is kindling. 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 This is a fire-based work suitability skill. And the items that can be used for is the campfire, the cooking pot, electric furnace, electric heater. Although you think electric, you know. Electric kitchen, flame cauldron, heater, improved furnace, and furnace can all be operated by Kindling. Kindling. Now, before we go deeper into the work suitability list, I'd like to just point out that if you can see here, we have Fox Parks that has level one Kindling. That means it'll do what the job, but it'll do it very slowly. Whereas Suzaku here has a level 3, so it'll do it, um, I don't know the maths, but I imagine 3 times faster. Now you do get pals with multiple jobs, so you've got Reptyro here, who's got kindling and mining, we'll get into mining in a moment. But when you do have them with multiple jobs, just bear in mind they might ditch one job for the other job. As of now, they might update it later on, so that doesn't happen. The next one on our list is planting. So as we can see, we've got a bronze cherry here with level 3 planting, which is pretty good. The structures that require planting are such as the berry plantation, wheat, tomato, and lettuce plantations. They all require planting skills. After that, we have handiwork. Now, Anubis here is known as one of the best handiwork pals in the game. Handiwork is anything that involves building structures or using benches. By benches, I mean sphere assemblies, weapon assemblies, production assemblies, all the weapon work benches, high quality work bench and pal gear workbench, etc. Pals with handiwork as well can also operate defensive structures like the mounted crossbow and there's a couple more that I haven't unlocked yet as well. Next on the list is lumbering. Now lumbering is a one job thing right now and it's just chopping wood. So whether that be trees on your base or the logging site just here, and to mirror that as well, the mining skill currently only has one use, which is a stone pit. The lumbering and mining skills are one job thing, that's just them two items there. If there's any stones or nodes on the base, like I normally have a metal node that spawns here. For instance, the mining pals will mine it and then they'll put it into a box. I was like, Bushi, do lumbering because of his sword. And Dig Toys does mining because that's just like its only purpose in life. <laughs> oh. Bad times. Our next one is medicine production. Now our lovely, lovely lavender here, the very controversial pal, has medicine production. Now what is that for you may ask? There is only two benches in the game that medicine production is used for right now. That's the medieval medicine workbench and the electric medicine workbench on at level 43. At the workbench you can craft just medicines here to fix like the crest uh, pals, pals with fractures and ulcers, etc, etc. Our next one is transporting. Now transporting is where they just walk around base and they pick up goods and they move them from the floor into storage boxes. So for instance, if I was to drop uh, now a bit of fiber here. You see, he's noticed it. Picks it up. And she's put it in the chest and then got bored because you know, um, our world. So yeah, transporting is just where they take goods from the floor to the chest. Our next one is watering. Watering is just to keep all the crops watered. So you'll have a planting phase, which we've already talked about. And then you'll have a watering phase. As you can see, our Azura is happily watering our crop. But what comes after watering, you may ask? Well, therein lies gathering. Now, gathering is used for the gathering of the crops. So once they've been planted, they'll need watering, then they'll need time to grow. And then when they are ready to be harvested, that's where the gatherers come in. So we'll just spawn our gatherer now. As you can see, they're going over to the plantation that I was just at, and they're just going to harvest the berries. Once they've harvested the berries, they'll become a loose item on the floor. Now, if they don't have transport, they won't move them. But if they do have transport, they'll put them away. Ideally, you'll want somewhere like this just so they can put them in here. You can see they're putting the berries inside. And in reference to our earlier work suitability, we now have a planter. Also doing the planting. This is what I mean by having pals with multiple uses. Can be good, can be bad. Depends how you look at it. Some of them will do one job and then bin it off for another job and you don't want that to happen, so always watch out for that. The next one on our list is generating electricity. Now there's only one item in the game that uses electricity, but there's a few items that run off the electricity. So as you can see here, we have Zoe and Grisball. I know, I know, controversial, you should not have bosses in your party, but you know, I fancy giving it a try. So once you get your electricity pal out, you want to pick them up with your entire strength and put them on the only item that needs them, which is the power generator. Once assigned to that, they'll start charging it up. They tend to like wander around, 
Sometimes it'll be sort of across the other side of the uh, base and they'll still be charging it, so... As long as it's charged, that's all that matters. Once that is charged, it'll run stuff like lights, for instance. So as you can see just around here, we have a light just there. Electricity is also used to power the benches that run, like a conveyor belt. So the production bench and the sphere assembly bench as well. They all require electricity to be in the base. Anyway, oh my days. Our next work suitability skill is cooling. Now I have a foxy kill here who has a level 2 in cooling. And cooling is used to keep your perishables from going out of date. Or to actually use a cooler to cool down the area. So our cooling team here, once you fix them to the freezer, or the cooler box rather, it'll expand the time that your items are in here significantly. So one flower will expire after 517 minutes. Whereas if you take them away, it's significantly lower than that. There's also an item, the cooler, which can be used that'll cool down the base by a certain amount. So if you want a base in the desert, for instance, you can put one of these down, it'll bring the temperature down a little bit. Or if you want to put it near your eggs, you can make your eggs go a little bit colder, but it doesn't... It, the whole keeping eggs hot cold is a very um, hard thing to do right now. Unless you're at a really high level and you have access to like the electrical heater, etc, etc. That's that's another topic for another time. But yeah, cooler and cooler box as well all need a cooler pal. How cute that looks. And the last one on our list is farming. Now, when I say farming, I don't mean anything to do with the crop plots. No, no, no. I mean to do with this thing over here, the ranch. As you can see, this requires farming. Uh, there are a bunch of pals that have farming and they farm specific resources. They'll go through everything that can go on a ranch and what they're used for because I was surprised at one of them. So the lamb ball and premise here, when put to a ranch, produce wool. The male packer also produces wool. The chicken pea, surprise, surprise, produces eggs. Mozzarina, even more surprise, surprise, produces milk. And would you believe it, but the bee guard produces honey. Capridis produce red berries when assigned. Wooly pops produce cotton candy. Flambells produce flame organs. Now, the one that surprised me was the... Uh, excuse me for pronouncing it wrong, but the Sibilex. They produce high quality cloth, which is an ingredient used in a lot of things towards the mid to late end game. And then we have both Maus, Mao and Mao Christ, which I've talked about in a previous video, produce gold coins. So if you want a steady passive income, put a couple of them into your ranch. And then the absolute best early game ranch team is the Vixie. Produces non-stop pal spheres and arrows, which is very crucial to start in catching. So I hope that helps you understand work suitability. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer as much as I can. And if you found this information useful, drop a like on the video and subscribe for more guides. I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourself.